Take me back home tonight.
Took me by surprise. I didn't think to cry. It's like I lost everything. I think I'm moving back. Can't seem to catch a break. I thought that it would last much longer than a day. There's always green of grass on the other side of me. On the other side. Is there? Who's fighting with themselves Vulnerable and all alone Sometimes it's hard as hell To be someone like yourself Come in with best intention Led into misdirections I can't help but think Maybe there's something When helping hurts, I think I've got it wrong again. I think I'm moving back, can't seem to catch a break. Thought that it would last much longer than a day. There's always green of grass on the other side of me, on the other side. Keep telling me to move, I'm getting in the way. If I went any slower, you'd think that I'd decay. It's only been an hour. But that's the way I think, the way I think Is there anybody else Who's fighting with themselves Vulnerable and alone Sometimes it's hard as hell To be someone like yourself Come in with best intentions Is there anybody else who's fighting with themselves, vulnerable and alone? Sometimes it's hard to tell to be someone like yourself, coming with best intentions, led into misdirections. So
up everybody welcome to the mogul house live how are you all what up what up hey chat what's going on hi misty faye thank you for the follow <laughs> we got some legendary folks in here some awesome streamers uh some partner streamers cadence off cadence is here as well hey. as the indie brothers um i see uh mel hey mel hi lonely Ludwig. thank you guys for being here much love jasmine Thank you so much for coming in to the Mogul House Live. My name is Bishop, and uh, I'm your host for the evening, and I'm sitting next to this lovely human being to my right. Uh, but we are going to get into this interview with her very soon. Uh, but one, I just wanted to say thank you guys for showing up tonight uh, for uh, Mogul House Live. Last week we missed you, um, but we are back and very excited. Um, so lots of exciting things that have been happening so far um, when it comes to Mogul. And we're just, just very grateful for all the support and all the love um, every weekend as you guys come in and hang out with us. So welcome to Mogul House Live. Again, my name is Bishop, and I'm sitting here with Miss Jane Rio. What up? I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad I made it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, you know. she is funny. <laughs> I don't even know if she knows she's funny, but she has been cracking me up already. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much, Cadence. Welcome in. Thank you again, man. Yeah. We got to get Cadence here. Much love to him. Um, but we'll, you'll, we'll be getting him here soon. Yes. Because um, we definitely, we we're going to have both of you guys together. Yeah. yeah. That would have been, been real cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it happen when yes. both of y'all come back to yes. this. This isn't the only time. Jane, how you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. You, you feeling know? good? Like I said, happy I made it. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> happy to be here. I'm yes. queen of winging it. So queen of winging it. <laughs> everything worked out. Yeah, and yeah. Hi, Kingdom. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi, everybody. Good to see you all. What up, Misty? Yeah, Misty <laughs> Faye. Megs. Hello, Megs. Hi. Oh man, I love seeing you all in here. Still nervous to sing in front of action. Wait, really? <laughs> oh my gosh, Cadence. Well, you got some time now. So yeah. You gotta you gotta get through that so that we can have you here. Uh well welcome in again to the Mogul House Live. We got Jane Rio with us today. Jane uh is originally from the Bay Area. Yeah. Northern California. That's right. Uh, but you live in Dallas right now, correct? That is correct. Okay, all right. So we're putting all the pieces together. All right. <laughs> um now I have a this is my like moment of I guess it would be like fandom in a way, mixed with like also, um, what would be the word? Momentous. I guess momentous would be the word for me because when I got on Twitch, I was just checking out the app um, and the, the platform in general, trying to get used to it because I was just unfamiliar with it. I'm like, what in the world is this? Uh, <laughs> um, Closure was doing, doing it and he had just started probably about a week or two in and so I was like, well, let me just check out what he's doing, you yeah. know. Uh, so he encouraged me to go through the app. And, guys, I clicked the music category, and one of the first streamers that I saw was Jane Rio. I was <laughs> on a walk in this neighborhood that we live in, in Newport Beach, and literally was like, I'm clicking this this channel. This girl is awesome. She likes, she has, you had a dope layout. I saw the, uh, your, um, it was Jane Rio. You have, like, clouds in your Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's 
change as much or not. But yeah. back then, that's what I, I saw. And I said, like, wow. But she was going through her Amazon list. So I was just like, whoa, what, what is happening right now? I was so confused, but yet also so intrigued. And like, then she sang, and I was like, damn, she can sing too? <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. gosh. So, hilarious. yeah, just insane. So uh, it's momentous for me in a way because it yeah. also opened my eyes to the only context I had was closure. Yeah. So to see you doing it, and I would watch your your um, streams often, and just going, okay, this is there's something here that I could take away from it. So one, I always wanted to tell you that, and the fact Thank that I got you. to tell you that in person is oh, is a blessing. I yeah, love that. it's a blessing to me. So this is Jane, and she's a streamer, music streamer. Um, before I ask her this question, I want to say thank you for the hype train. Sixty nine percent. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up? Cadence, hey. and I believe uh, Mel. And who else? Was, I saw other subscriptions. Oh, Mama Guate. Thank you so much for the subscription. Malia. Hi, Malia. Malia subscribed as well. Somebody just yes. gave me bits. I just missed that. I apologize. Mel, through, Mel through gave the, the bits. bits. Mel. What's up, Louis? Oh, man. We got Element OP in the chat. We miss Louis today. Aww. Oh, much love to Louis. Oh, Malia, you're so pretty. Thank you. You're so kind. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. So, it's again, me. this is very momentous for me um, in a way. And then also fandom because she's one of the streamers that I watch a lot and watched in the past a lot. Um, now, how did you get into streaming, Jane? Like, what? How did, where would that come about? So... It actually happened around this time okay. when I started streaming because when the pandemic hit, it was actually days before my birthday. Uh -huh. And we initially, I initially had a birthday party planned mm. for the weekend of March 14th. So this was still when we were kind of trying to figure out, okay, are we sheltering in place? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Like we're just now finding out about, you know, the COVID breakout. Yeah. And so we were still under the assumption that this was all a fluke. And we're just going to party it up. Right. Um, but then they put in the shelter in place March 11th. Mm. And we were still waiting for them to like lift it up. But they never did. So mm. we were literally waiting yeah. until the last hour. And when I kept telling people like, no, like we'll still do it underground. Mm -hmm. We're like, no, we shouldn't do it. Like it's mm. literally against the law now. Mm. So I had to think of a last minute kind of, you know, replacement for that. Mm -hmm. And so I started streaming on Instagram first. Okay. So it wasn't singing or anything. It was literally just me hanging out, taking shots with people on yeah. <laughs> on Instagram Live. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, we're all stuck here and people are actually coming through. Right. And um, as, as we started to realize that this pandemic wasn't going away and that shelter in place was not going to go away either, um, I started doing regular lives on Instagram mm. every Thursday and Sunday. Mm. But I was literally just using like a speaker like this, a monitor okay. with my phone yeah. and using the sound from the monitor into yeah. the phone. And it just was, it was so scuffed as, as we would say. Yeah. Um, and um, I saw a lot of other, you know, artists streaming on Instagram and I noticed that their sound was a lot better. Yeah. Like it's coming from a computer or something. And um, one of my friends, his name is, is Travis. Yeah. He told me about Restream. Okay. And how I could put my computer sound onto Restream. And so with Restream, there's a way to put that onto Twitch. Right. And I was like, let me use Twitch as like a testing platform mm. for me to just test out the sound and then bring it back to Instagram. Yeah. Because I knew that nobody knew me on Twitch. I made an account to watch my other friends yeah. stream. Yeah. Um, they, they were DJing on Twitch at the time. Okay. And I was like, yeah, no one's going to come on. Like, I don't even know. I didn't even know that there was a music category on yeah. Twitch. And, uh, and here I am. On this restream, and apparently, like my my sound was only coming out of one speaker, and we were trying to like troubleshoot with two of my best friends that were in stream, and I didn't realize that that was like the magic algorithm. If you have like three people, yeah. it actually puts you on like the featured page, or oh, okay, yeah, like it, it's it's kind of one of the things to get discovered, and yeah. I didn't know that, so yeah. it was just by chance. Uh -huh. So then people were actually coming in and they're like, hey, 
do you know your speaker is only coming out or your sound's only coming out of one speaker? Yeah. And so people were actually coming in trying to troubleshoot with me. They're wow. like, go into OBS and like, yeah. you know, press yeah. the mono button and do this. Yeah. And and at one point I had like, I think 10 viewers. Oh my gosh. Okay. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that's more than what I get on Instagram. <laughs> you know, like I have like maybe like four people yeah, yeah. on Instagram or whatever. No, it, it was, you know, like a good amount of people would come. But I was like, there's actually a market for this. And yeah. so from that day on, I was hooked. I was like, let me just check out these other streamers. And then, yeah, I basically uh, streamed every day from that point on yeah. and uh, got affiliate and then have been on this trajectory since. Oh now it's, God, now yeah. I'm I'm going to celebrate my two-year anniversary uh, next month, yes. April 27th. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. That's so funny because I feel like a lot of people were trying to figure out what... Instagram was a, the main way many people stream stuff. Yeah. Because I know Closure was streaming on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He was doing a little bit of You Now at a time as well. Uh -huh. um, I always went Instagram Live. That's like the normal thing. That was normal for me. Right. Or Facebook Live. Right. Uh, which, in a way, it was like, I started understanding what the platforms do. It's yeah. Like they can do live streaming. Right. But when I started understanding that Twitch was purposely people want to be here to view live content. Yes. I was like, oh, there is a difference because you're not sharing attention with other things like right. th that the that the platform can do, which right. we thank God for Facebook and Instagram because they are big parts or TikTok or anything like that. Yeah. Who have hosting live platforms, but as well they do all, all the other stuff. So well one, I'm just glad that you're on here on Twitch. <laughs> Me too. I mean thank goodness for that kind of redirection. Yeah, definitely. Because you know with Instagram, like you were saying, on Twitch people are going to Twitch for that reason right, to right. find live content. Whereas like on Instagram your discoverability is really just like whoever's following Who you. Who follows you, right. Right? right so it's just like, okay, after the first few streams, like the first month, it's yeah. like, okay, cool. Like we'll we'll show up, but then then, you know, it kind of grows <laughs> right. stale. I get it. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. and so it was just kind of a blessing in disguise to end up in Twitch and like singing for people who I didn't know. Yeah, that's you know? awesome. Oh <laughs> Dang, I love that. Well, welcome to Mogul House Live. You just yeah. heard how this star um, in Twitch, a person that is not a stranger to this platform. If you're coming in here at glancing, you probably have seen her before you've seen anyone else. <laughs> it's Jane Real with us today. I want to thank all people who are gifting subs, bits, everything. We're yes. at a level two uh, hype train. Ooh, so and then freaking Keaton just subscribed as well. Thank you, Jay Keaton33. Much love, dude. Thank you for subscribing and being with us. Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Currently on a three-month streak. Yes. Yes. Much love. Nathan, Nathan B. Hey. What's going on? Also, did I see that Nyx was in here as well? I saw someone say Nyx. Did I miss Nyx? Okay. Well, Nyx, good to see you in here as well. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with us today. Jane, we're going to have you sing some music because I don't want to get caught in the web of talking right off the bat and bore people with, oh. uh, with my voice. They came <laughs> to hear you. So uh, what do you want to sing for us first? Um, so I was thinking of starting off with this song called Self Interrogation. Okay. Um, because for the longest time, I was really trying to find my voice. I've been singing for so long, but... Um, it wasn't until I started writing about actual real life events mm. that I became more inspired to like write my own music mm -hmm. and um, self interrogation was kind of the start of my mental health journey. Mm. So um, I was diagnosed with ADHD and bipolar type two, mm. and um, I wouldn't have known that had I not started off this journey. So yeah. it was actually like a really um, coming. I guess, or discovering and becoming song for me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, it's it's really, really special. And I feel like it, it's a good start to this, yeah. to this journey. To this journey that we're on with this, you tonight. This musical journey I and like this, it. this life journey. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I feel like we again, start there. We got our friend Jane Rio here. My name is Bishop. Welcome to the Mogul House Live, where we celebrate, amplify artistic voices. And right now, we're about to hear an original song called Self Interrogation by Miss Jane Rio. Yeah. Check this out. All right. Here we go. Uh -huh. I could 
couldn't even really tell you Kept my eyes closed and now they're open wide The guilt is killing me inside Didn't know I had so many issues yeah, yeah. How could I do this? How did I let it get? Interrogation. I gotta dig deep. Yes. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, we're gonna take a two minute break here, but when we come back, I wanna talk to you a little bit more about that song and then we'll yes. hear another one. because uh, I have some questions. But I'm so glad you shared about your mental health journey. And so um in the chat right now, give us about one minute. We're gonna take a one minute break and we'll be right back here at the Mogul House with Jane Rio.
Oh, so cool. Well, 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 well. Welcome back to the Mogul House Live. I'm sitting here with Jane Rio. My name is Bishop. I'm so glad uh, that you guys are hanging out with us right here uh, on our Saturday night. We usually stream every Saturday night right here um, in the studio at 7 o'clock p.m. And so we're glad to have you here. Again, I have Jane Rio. She just got done singing her song, Self Interrogation. And uh, yeah, the premise of that song was more about your mental health journey. Um, how important is it for us to take that moment to kind of just do a uh, inventory, take inventory right. of what's happening on the inside, self-interrogation? What? How important is that? You know what's funny is I feel like we are under the assumption that because we are ourselves that we don't need to check in. Mm. Like how often do you actually, you know, like I see it in chat right now. They're like, oh, how, how is everybody in chat? But like when do you actually ask yourself, how are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing today, Jane? Right, <laughs> How are right. you feeling? Like, right. what's, you know, like, what's going to make you feel better today? Or why do you do the things that you do? I've never done that. Yeah. I had never done that up until that point. Mm. Um, I was in a relationship that really helped me to understand, like, my faults and right. things that I could improve on. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, that was when I realized, like, I really need to be checking in on myself more so that I am more aware of the things that I, I do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So um, I just, I, I, if you ask me, that's the first line in the song. If you ask me why I did the things that I did, I couldn't tell you because yeah. I wasn't, oh, I was, like, in, on autopilot. Right. And there's right. so many of us that... Yeah. Are or were on autopilot. Yeah, very yeah. true, very true. Self awareness is a real thing. Many of us don't have good self awareness right. at all. Right. And it does take, it takes uh, us actually stopping and going, paying attention. You know, something I always laugh because I didn't know. Um, how much I loved certain things until COVID or how much yes. I hated certain things until COVID. Right. Like I traveled for a job. That was my job to right. travel. But at the same time, I didn't realize how much I loved being at home. Until, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's that, it's just in the smaller things and the simplistic, simplistic or simple things we find out when we stop, oh, wow, I actually like this or I hate this or I need to pay attention. This is really something that I haven't dealt with and it keeps reoccurring. Right. Because we're so used to going. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I appreciate your honesty in that song. And it's dope, actually. It's pretty Thank dope you. beat and all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Uh, who produced it? Um, it was actually produced by this, my friend, Adian Lewis, is, is what he goes by. He's also an artist. Okay. And um, he actually helped me, you know, conceptualize the idea um, because when we were working on this project together, I had just gone through the breakup mm. and we were going through the different stages of like, mm. okay, what, what do you do? Like, you know, yeah. first you're like a asking yourself the questions, why and this and that. So <laughs> right. he came up with the, with the title self interrogation okay. and, and we just kind of went with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, and I want to say that smash hit which is another producer put in some work on it, but mm -hmm. I honestly don't remember. They were the two that I worked very close with on what is the undone EP of mine. Okay, yeah. okay, awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you for sharing that song. It's great. Yes. I got some more fun questions for you. I know we just got real serious, so. Yeah, no, 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 I appreciate that. You know, like, I feel like it's it's something that, need. you know, we should talk about Very true. a lot more. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot it's of overlooked. people that need to be talking about mental health that ain't been talking about it, you know, and it's like, that that's just our our world needs, especially for what we've been through. Mm -hmm. You don't realize that people pay for <laughs> those things. Yes, if you don't address them, right. And on top of that, you take on so much in your experience and your subconscious mm -hmm. and the impulses in the back of your head to now, like they everything that you know moves on in the future and how we engage with life, these yep. things play a part in it. Yes, they do absolutely. when we don't deal with it or we don't have a conversation within ourselves. Yes. You know? So even just yeah. like realizing your thoughts. Yes. A lot of people don't even know that. Like right. they think things and they're, you know, they're constantly thinking and we constantly like I don't know, avoid it or distract for ourselves. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And don't even realize, yep. you know, those, yep. those thoughts. So even just that. Mm, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> See, it's getting real already. Hey. <laughs> it's getting real right here in the Mogul House Live. Uh, I'm sitting here with Jane Rio. My name is Bishop. So glad you guys are here. Jay Pone, good to see you in here, brother man. All right, now, now, I got a question yes. uh, for you. 
and this is for Chad as well. We're going to do a poll with hey. this. We're going to do a poll, okay? If you could shop with these in these three stores, which one would you choose? Oh boy, I love okay. this question. Okay. Zara, Forever 21, <sighs> or Gap? Oh no. <laughs> I so I've actually boycotted fast fashion. Whoa! I'm not a fan. You're of, not a fan of any, either, all, any other. Yeah, I just, I mean, you know, like Gap because it's from San Francisco. Okay. And that's where I'm from. And, yeah. you know, uh, but even then, it's like, it's a little too overpriced for me. I love to thrift. That's my thing. You're a thrifter. I'm a thrifter. Okay. I've been a thrifter since I was a little kid. And, um, you know, just trying to be conscious about, like, where yeah. I put my money. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know? Definitely. I respect that for I sure. I like Zara's style. Don't get me wrong. Okay, but, yeah. You know. So, if, I mean, if you were into it, if you went to it, you probably would go to Zara over Gap or whatsoever. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. okay, I got you. All right. Yeah. All right, well, you heard that, and you heard Miss Jane does not do fast fashion, so don't come to her with no gift cards from Gap <laughs> or Zara. Just, oh, send that, just send that shit to Bishop, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. Uh, again, we got Jane Real here with us right here at the Mogul House Live. My name is Bishop, and we're going to have Jane sing another song. Uh, Jane, what song are you going to sing for us next? So I guess just kind of moving along with the story, right? Yeah. Like from the self-interrogation, I realized that a lot of the things that I was doing wrong was from a lack of self-love. Mm. Um, and, and so that this kind of journey of like realization and mm -hmm. then, you know, finding myself i guess this uh this next song that i'm gonna play is actually the latest song that oh, i've, I've okay. written it's not even out yet Ooh. but wait a minute are we having an exclusive moment <laughs> yes and now i love a moment of exclusivity yes I do. okay this is great now we gotta take a sip for that one we're i'm excited about this it's gonna yes, be awesome yes. sip everybody sip. now Thank you, Louie. Thank you. Thank you, LMLP <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> we love an exclusive here in the Mogul House. Oh, yes. Yes, it just, it just gets us excited. Okay. Had to. So you're, you're not putting this song out yet. Not yet. Is there a release date? Kind um, of? I have to figure that out. Okay. All, <laughs> but... right. All right. Well, we won't make you think about that right now. We just want to hear how beautiful it is. So yes. this is called self-love, correct? This type of love. Type of love. Type of okay. love. Excellent. Because self-love is the best type of love. So... You better say that. <laughs> Welcome to the Mogul House Live. My name is Bishop, and we're sitting right here with my friend Jane Rio, all the way from Dallas, Texas. Yes. And she's about to perform her song that is going to be coming very soon, hopefully, Type of Love. Check yeah. this out. With what I've been through, learn from the past For once I'm happy in my life I know I'll be fine Yeah, yeah, with me, myself and I Yeah, yeah, I'll get it right this time Yeah, yeah, don't need one to be mine Yeah, yeah, if you don't understand this if you don't understand this Baby, your love is enough No, you don't really need anybody It's the best type of love Best type of love Learn to love yourself first And then you go <laughs> And then you go, 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 go Know what I want and what's best for me 
with what I've been through. Learn from the past. For once I'm happy in my life. I know I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, with me, myself, and I. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it right this time. Don't need one to be mine. No, if you don't understand this, if you don't understand this, baby, love is enough. No, you don't really need anybody. It's the best type of love. Best type of love. Learn to love yourself first, and then you go. Hey. And then you go, 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 go Go, 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 go And then you go, 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 go That was so good. Type of love. Man, that beat too, girl. You almost got... Listen, I will party. I will party. I didn't have some sips of this wine. I will get I will get down. That is, that's an awesome song, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, yeah. We need a release date now. <laughs> you got it. I know. You, you need to get to work. I, I that, need to get to want, work. I, I want to listen to that in my car. Yes, yes, yes. That's a beautiful song. Yeah, so talking about... Self love is the best type of love. Yeah. Um, and your awareness in your journey mm -hmm. of the relationship, the breakup. Yeah. I need to interrogate, figure out what the hell is going on within Jane. Yes. And then go, oh, I really don't love myself like I need to. Right. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that stage of life where you are when you're writing this and, and, and kind of asking, us, asking yourself, how do I love myself? That's a great question. So, you know, I I was trying to figure that out for myself for the longest time. And, you know, like as I started asking myself these questions, like why do I, you know, do the things that I do? Like why do I hurt people? Mm. And I, I realized that it's because hurt people hurt people. Hold up. You know? I mean. <laughs> I'm going to need something else. Hurt people hurt people. <laughs> I'm going somebody to go get some healing tonight. Because y'all need y'all here hurting no more folks. <laughs> that's good, though, because it's so true. Right, right. Oh, my gosh. I got... Yeah, that's a sip right there. And, and you know, and that, that's the thing. It's just like it, it, you can't really love someone else unless you truly love yourself first because Facts. you're not giving yourself the best version of you to not only yourself but to the person who you're going to love. Who told you to come up here and preach? <laughs> what in the world... Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. Wow. And and I just realized that like, you know, I had been searching for someone to fill my void. Mm. And you know, like in the period of time where I was single, the the longest time I had ever been single in my adult life was mm. two and a half years. Oh wow. And and in that time when I really gave myself that space to like figure out what is it that I like? What is it that I want for right. myself? Right. What can I do for myself to fulfill my needs so that I don't need to rely on someone else mm. to provide for me, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I do know. Yes. And so that's what I had to do. I had to build myself up. And it's funny because I really do feel like the, the moment that you do that for yourself, that's when the universe kind of conspires to bring you the love that you deserve, mm. whether that's from you or from a partner yeah. or both. Yeah. It should be both. I love that. I love <laughs> that. Yeah. Because you yeah. can't appropriately give anything to a relationship uh, if you don't know like who you are and if you don't love yourself. Right. Yeah. And, oh, man, that's godly. Y'all didn't <laughs> know y'all was going to get it. What's up, Aiden? Thank you for the hey, subscription. Aiden. Welcome in. B. Marie from the Mogul team. Hello, B. Marie. Hey. B. Marie is a part of our, our staff, and What's she up, is in Ohio. Uh, Ohio. I know, right? Yeah, we're all over. Listen, Mogul is oh, all wow, over. Oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, definitely. That is right. That's so good. I love that. And I seen in here, let's go back to the shopping question because I have to address the yes. poll. We got a whole bunch of Forever 21ers up in here. That is interesting. Wow, that is interesting. Because I, I did not, I did not think that that would be the case. I thought Zara would be the me too. The 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 choose. I knew Gap was out there, but you know, you know, we got some Gap. I I'll go and Gap when I am looking for just a solid piece. Like yeah. if I got to sing somewhere and I'm last minute, <laughs> and you yeah. know, I was like, I know I need something that's gonna last. I want to. It's gonna tear up in the dryer after I wear it. Right. I'm going to Gap. They got yeah. pretty solid clothing. Yeah. Um, but okay. Well, that's great. Agreed. Now that I know y'all style. And uh, I won't give y'all the address to the mogul house, but uh, <laughs> very soon y'all be able to send me gift cards if you would like. <laughs> uh, welcome into the mogul house live. My name is Bishop. I'm sitting here with the fabulous, the beautiful, the magnificent Miss Jane Rio, no. all the way from Dallas, Texas. She here in the mogul house. She is here in the mogul house, and you just got done celebrating 96 with your grandmother. Is it 96? 93. 93 yes. years old. Yeah. What in the world? I know. Oh, you seen it at 93 you've seen it all yeah 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 <laughs> yeah the, this woman has so many stories and it's Aww. yeah it's it's really beautiful and it's the first time that my family was together since the pandemic so that it's been over beautiful. two years yeah. wow yeah so she's living in southern california yes okay correct. uh any other family members down there with her uh, yeah, so all of my dad's side of the family live mm. in in SoCal, Orange County okay. specifically. Okay. Um, and and she yeah she's living with with my uncle right okay. now, but okay. she's actually planning on going back to the Philippines now that it's open. Okay. Yeah, they just opened the Philippines up for you know travel. Yeah. And uh, so she wants to spend some time there yeah. in the last you know <laughs> stretch of her life. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. That's awesome that yeah. she has that energy too. Go, I want to go back to the Philippines and travel. That's awesome. She's still the same yeah. woman yeah. as yeah. I've known her all my life. It's insane. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. She's very sharp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good for you then, because you'll be just as sharp when you get that old. I I hope so. Yeah. Me too. Me <laughs> yes. too, Jane. You got it. You got it. Definitely. Yeah. Again, well, welcome to the Mohouse Live. My name is Bishop. We're sitting here with Jane Rio, and she is a a music streamer. Uh, here on Twitch, and uh, Jane, also tell us a little bit about like your uh, music background. How'd you get into music? Um, you know, I just loved singing ever since I was a kid. I remember watching a video of myself singing myself "Happy Birthday" uh, <laughs> when I was turning three. Yes, and it's so funny because in the video, I'm singing in front of this cake, and everyone's singing with me, yeah. and I'm getting mad at them. I'm literally like. Why are you guys singing over me? Like you can see the diva in my face. Like yeah. I'm singing, and yeah. it, it's just funny. Like it had always been in me to perform, um, and I actually started dancing first. So I was part of a Filipino folk dance group, mm -hmm. and in between costume changes, we I would sing mm -hmm. so that there was time for them to change mm -hmm. and you know it was still cultural like I would sing Tagalog songs, and um, and that was kind of the start yeah so uh, that was like well, that was when I was seven that was when I was performing on like actual big stages and stuff yeah, yeah. and I got scouted by an entertainment group and started singing for Filipino celebrities when they would tour in the U.S. So like I've sang at the Shrine Auditorium, the what? Bill Graham Auditorium, like ever since I was eleven, wow. and and yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. I don't sit next to somebody famous <laughs> in the world. I oh my goodness, that, that's but... huge. Okay, uh, Tagalog, right? Yes. Did I say yes. that right? Yeah. Uh, my friend May Angelus is from the Philippines. She's singing on TikTok a lot lately uh, in nice. Tagalog, and like her TikToks are blowing up. But I I found that it is a beautiful language, like just how uh, the words go together and how she sings them. It just has a beautiful tone to it. Oh, Do you know that. you got any? You got a, a five second thing you can hit us with? Uh, five, I have a whole song I could yeah. hit you with. You got a whole song. Yes. <laughs> Uh, entire song. I mean, it's 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 Tagalog and English. So that's actually the latest song Say that no like more. we've that Say we've no more. released. Sip and okay, what is this called? <laughs> it's called Telepatia. Telepatia. So it, this is actually a direct translation of Kaliuchi's Telepatia. Yeah. Um, I do not have any faith in my Spanish skills, so I was like, <laughs> let me just rewrite this in Tagalog so I could sing it properly, and uh, okay. and yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yo, I'm, yeah, see, this is what happens when you come <laughs> to Mook House Live. We got all kind of exclusive moments and special moments. Like, you ain't going to get this nowhere else. So <laughs> glad you guys are here hanging out with me. And my beautiful friend is here, Jane Rio. And she's about to sing Telepatia. Check this out. Yeah. Na possibly pala na mahalin ka ng telepatia Puno ang buwan pero walang laman ang kama ang gawin ko sana Kung nandito ka masisira ang ulo mo sa napakasara yeah. Araw at gabi, yeah. araw at gabi, yeah. you know I'm just a flight away if you want it, you can take a private plane Kahit malayo sa'yo ay ko'y konektado Nalilibugan ako kahit wala ka dito You know I got a lot to say All these voices in the background of my brain Sinasabi sa'kin ang iniisip mo Iniisip kong lahat ng gagawin mo yeah. Sino ang akala na posible pala Na mahalin ka ng telepatia Puno ang buwan pero walang laman ang kama ang gawin ko sana Kung nandito ka masisira ang ulo mo sa napakasara Araw at gabi, araw at gabi You know that I could see right through ya yeah, yeah. Cause I can read your mind, I can read your mind What you wanna do, oh, 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 oh it's written on your face, time's too, yeah Cause I can read your mind, I can read your mind I can hear your thoughts like a melody Listen when you talk while you're fast asleep You stay on the phone just to hear me breathe On repeat Sino ang akala na posible pala na mahalin ka ng telepatia no ang buwan pero walang laman ang kama ang gawin ko sana Kung nandito ka masisira ang ulo mo sa napakasara Araw at gabi, araw at gabi special yeah it is a special song yeah. for sure you came alive well with that song <laughs> like I, I got the chill part of you and the other ones <laughs> and you know it's like okay i'm about to give you a little swag but you <laughs> really just came alive in that how special is that song to you uh and you just voiced it even at the end of it it's yeah. a part of your journey yeah so it, basically this song um i I rewrote it just for fun, you know? And I premiered it on stream, and stream was just like, you need to record this song. You got to get it on Spotify. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, well, I don't know how to get it on Spotify. Yeah. I don't record. I don't engineer. So I actually asked Off Cadence to help me produce the song. Legendary. <laughs> Look at and that. So, so funny story. I thought Cadence was a producer. I had no idea he was an artist. So I'm sitting here like, hey, can you like, because I see him recording on his stream right and uh he's been such like a huge supporter in my stream and i was like hey like would you be down to like work on this song with me yeah and he got like the whole production um he he redid the instrumental wow um and Dude. then and then recorded it and i didn't know that he also does film so he actually filmed the music video, and that's my first ever music video that I've ever wow. created was with him. Okay, we saw in the chat people were asking, <laughs> yo, what about that music video, though? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah. the music video is out. It's out. It's out. Yep. That song is on Spotify. You can find it on Spotify. You can find the, the video on YouTube. So 
This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so you can check that out by clicking the link right here uh, yes. in the chat there, chat. Also, I saw <laughs> Spipkin in there. Hey, Spipkin. How are you? Welcome in. Okay. So we're <laughs> sitting here with Jane Rio. Uh, she just sang in, uh, I'm gonna, I don't want to jack this up, Tagalog. Tagalog, yes. Yes, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting, getting there. It. Yeah, You're I'm getting, getting there. Y'all just got to teach me, and I'm going to catch up with you. <laughs> yes, this, so that was beautiful. I absolutely love that song. I cannot wait to go listen to that and uh, uh, also watch uh, watch that music video. Also, yes. shout out to K Off Cadence yes. in the chat here, uh, producing and doing all the things. Now, um, there's something special between you and Off Cadence, but the <laughs> fact uh, that you thought that he was a, a producer <laughs> yes. is funny because I thought the same thing. Right? See, he yeah. gives off that vibe. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, I don't know yeah. why. But. You got producer vibes on you, so you better accept that cadence, a little bit of that. You know, don't walk away because that. I mean, he's good. Yeah, he's good. That's a great, great beat. Everything about that was awesome. Much love, cadence. Got to get you here, man. <laughs> uh, we got a special version of the video too. What did, what they mean? There's two versions of the video. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One oh. is a uh, what we call it's it's not even really that dirty, but I basically moon the internet. So oh my, <laughs> and and then the second <laughs> version is a <laughs> is, is a lyric. What? Yeah, I mean, okay, sip everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is family friendly because it's a lyric video. So I actually wrote the lyrics with you know subtitles and everything. <laughs> oh, wonderful! I probably need to watch the. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch the family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, you can watch both. It's the just, Mighty Ducks rated you know, version. It, it's, just, you know. it's literally like seeing someone in a swimsuit, you guys. It's it's really not. Oh, that okay. Bad. It ain't that yeah, bad. Yeah, it's not yeah. that bad. Why y'all make it like she did the Janet Jackson? Well, because, I, cause, you know, like I usually dress very covered up. Yeah, so yeah. it was you very. covered Yeah, like <laughs> the stream was very like, what the heck was that? You know, they're just like, they're just not used to seeing Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Understandable. Well, she was doing her thing. That's the thing. That, that <laughs> song makes her live enough, I can tell. Yes, well, we I got Jane song. Rio here with us, and she is killing it. Um, <laughs> if I want to open up the chat, if you have any questions for Jane uh, that you've been wondering, yes. uh, anything about her life or anything about her music or any, uh, anything about her story that she has shared, uh, all you have to do is just put Command Q in the chat, right? Command Q in the chat, and your question uh, will pop up in here. Uh, and that way, me and Jane can see it, and we would love uh, to get those questions answered. Thanks, Element OP, or yes. Command Ask. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Command Ask. Um, that works as well. Oh, What's hi. up, Kuya? Welcome in. Kuya. Hey, Sonia, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cammy Dudu did this beautiful, I have to acknowledge it, this beautiful video. I celebrated my one year on Twitch on Aww. Thursday. And, oh my God, uh, congratulations. Thank Happy you. one year. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I am, I am still like processing all the love. Mm -hmm. Talk about loving yourself like or learning how to love yourself. I work so hard where I forget that I'm doing something mm -hmm. and also don't take time to let people celebrate me either. I learn yes. that about myself. Yes. You know, so, or I celebrate a moment with me or anything. I, just don't I take still time struggle that. with that. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it hard? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. God. I literally avoid my birthday yeah. <laughs> so that, like, <laughs> we don't have to celebrate myself. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, chat, they're just so thoughtful. They still yes. got a kudo board and all that. Right. But I yeah, totally yeah, agree. Yeah, it's, yeah. It is really. It's yeah. challenging. Well, I've just been learning how even in the last two days, because I've been reading through it and still going, how do I process these wonderful things that are yes. said about me? When you just, I just do them because I, I love being me. Yeah. I love, like, I don't know how to do anything else. Right. But I never, sometimes don't think about how that's impacting people at large or right. whatsoever. Uh, so, again, much love. Us. Uh, she did a video that was, it really touched my heart. So, thank you for doing that, Sonia. Much love to Scammy So dude. sweet. Yes, it is the sweetest thing. All the way in India over there. Love us. And she's also always in class. I don't know how she does it, but she's literally, like, always in a lecture or something and still, like, <laughs> in the chat. We just love her. Just Aww. love her. Yes, much love to you. Okay, so we got Jane Rio here. We're not going to talk about me. I just had to bring that up. Jane, um, what part are we at in your journey of your music? What are we about to hear next? Well, <laughs> so, uh, so the next song actually, it's it's funny because I, this whole like telepathia and and my now new found love, I guess, was unexpected. Mm -hmm. And um, so so this next song, it kind of ties everything together because it's also my Twitch song. So with the story of like, 
you know, I wasn't even supposed to be on Twitch. It was just kind of a fluke. And same thing, like I was really just working on myself when mm. love kind of entered my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so so the next song is also my raid song. <laughs> it's Nobody's Supposed to Be Here. Mm. And yeah, here we are. Raid song. Well, if you want to raid Jane at any <laughs> point when she goes live, yes. you're going to hear this song. Now, um, we're going to have to talk about this song after she get gets done performing it. Uh, but um, I'm excited to hear her sing this. So, Jane Rios with us here at the Mogul House Live. My name is Bishop. I'm your host for the evening. And we're so glad that you came to spend your Saturday night yes. with us here. Such get you a, a glass host. of wine, get you a cup of whiskey, get you a Mai Tai, get you a little water, a tea, whatever you want to drink tonight. And enjoy this song here, Miss Jane Rio. Check it out. Here we go. <laughs> How did you? eternity that heaven sent to fulfill my needs but when I turn around again love has knocked me down yeah my heart got broken no oh, it hurts so bad I'm sad to say love wins so again Oh, 
Nobody's supposed to be no, here. No, no, not at all. If you sing like that, ain't nobody supposed to be up in here. <laughs> I would walk right out the door. <laughs> Golly. Uh, Welcome in, everybody, to Mobile House Live. We have Jane Rio here. She just got done yeah. singing. Nobody's supposed to be here. And she just told it up. As Ninja Roy would say, that was cracked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning the, the new lingos from them. Me too. They teach me so much. <laughs> yes. Chat keeps me yeah. young yeah, too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's that song is legendary. Yes. Uh, Deborah Cox, mm -hmm. just a legendary song. Um, I, I heard that song growing up on the radio. I, I wasn't supposed to listen to R&B radio because I grew up in a, a church household. <laughs> so, you know, I had to sneak and listen to yes. stuff. So, yeah. So, Mom, if you're watching this, I don't know how I listened to it. I just found it you know, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> um, but that's a legendary song. Like, R&B, like, royalty, basically. Uh, why, why that song? Like, tell us a little bit about that. How would you even get in contact with that song? And why is it a part of your raids? All that stuff. So it, it's funny because um, back then, <laughs> way back when, yeah. uh, the way to get instrumentals was through like these CD, CDGs, like karaoke CDs. Yeah. And they would come with like a set of songs. Okay. And that was one of the songs that was on there. Uh -huh. And I, I've been singing that song since I was a kid wow, too. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's it's an instrumental that I've had for a long time. So when I was testing out my stream um, with my six to ten viewers or however many it was. It's just funny because, you know, that song is, um, it literally says nobody's supposed to be here because yeah. no one was supposed to be in that test stream. Yeah, but right. it, it started the journey. I was like, oh, my yeah. gosh, you actually changed my mind. Right. I should really do Twitch. Mm -hmm. And then um, the reason why it became a raid song is because one of my uh, VIPs actually rewrote the song mm. to to fit. Like, how did you get here? Oh, you raided in here. Yeah, yeah, you that's know? smart. I like it. Yeah, yeah I and like then, it. you know, the chat says welcome, and so everyone says welcome yeah. when I say <laughs> that, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just become such a huge part. And it was one of my most requested songs when I first started streaming on really? on Twitch. Yeah, because somebody clipped... Um, uh, you know, uh, the high part, mm -hmm. and it just kept circulating. And yeah. so people would come in and, like, you know, request a song. And so it, right, it really right. became uh, a staple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jay, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, those, because I used to look at those, too. You get these, ra these like, random karaoke tapes that did have a whole yes. bunch of the, the yes. classic songs on yeah. them. The uh, They would have, like, Boys to Men yes. or Monica or Brandy. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. That's cool. I like that. I love your stories. You have great stories. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I like, I'm, like, listening, like, wow, you could do, like, a movie or something I, in your life. Maybe one day, you Yeah, know? I think so. Let's do it. Yeah. Somebody, y'all heard what she said. We got to get a movie going after Jane Rio's life, the biopic. Yes, um, yes. Welcome I'd into Mobile House Live. My name is Bishop. Again, I'm sitting here with Jane Rio. You may be asking, what is Mobile House Mogul House Live. Well, Mogul House Live is one of the ways that Mogul House supports and amplifies the artistic voice. And we're so glad you came in and hang out with us uh, right here on your Saturday night. Um, every Saturday we go live at 7 o'clock. Uh, and so this week we are again sitting here and being graced with the opportunity to be sitting here with Jane. Modest Goddess, hello. Welcome in. Glad to see you inked. What's going on? So glad you're here. How you all doing? Good to see everybody in the chat tonight. Thank you for all the love. We are, listen. I am. I could fall asleep anymore. I got this wine. I had a good dinner. <laughs> Jane is singing yes. all these songs, just make you feel real good. Like this is a good Saturday evening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Ink. Good to see you. What's up, Ink? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. We also have some amazing streamers in the chat, all yes. the way down to the Andy Brothers. I've seen everybody. Um, I've seen Kuya. I've seen Ninja Roy. Off Cadence is in here. Yeah. You know when when you put your hand on your ear and you realize my earring's not there. I just did that. It's right there. Oh, you found it? Okay, I good. I see it. Okay, great. <laughs> just, <laughs> I literally just did that. Like, what in the world? I was like, I was wondering, yeah. where, whose is that? Okay, now we know. <laughs> that is mine. Make sure the other one's there. Okay. Dennis, what's up, Dennis? Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Oh, thank you so much for the subscription, Dennis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dennis, also, you catch that Nets game? We looking good, brother, man. <laughs> we looking good. We looking good. Um, Jane... Uh, is there another song you want to sing for us tonight? Um, 
I got one more to close it out. Yeah. She got one more to close it out. All right, cool, cool. Now, before we close this out here, mm -hmm. um, I have another question for you. Yeah. Who are your musical influences? Like, who, if you had like a top five oh, situation, like, who are the people <laughs> that, you know, they, they're the ones like, oh, they're living through Jane right now. Oh, I don't know if they're living through me. I but, think so. But, you know, I, I think growing up, when I grew up, y'all can figure it out, I'm sure, once I <laughs> tell you who my influences are. But um, Whitney, Whit Mariah Carey. Listen, that Whitney, hold up, because we you can't be saying that. You can't, just moving on. <laughs> I, I get red in the face. I'm talking about Whitney. Well, I love Whitney. Rest in peace, Whitney. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mariah Carey. Mar Mariah Carey was actually the first artist that I tried to mimic. Really? So, so it's because of Music Box that I oh okay really started to learn, you know, how can I make myself sound like this? Mm -hmm. um, so she's probably my biggest influence. And then there's Celine Dion. Oh, wait a Celine. minute. See, you just kept, you be throwing out some names. Oh, I mean. I, I love a Celine moment. <laughs> Okay. See, see, I'm starting to think we're the same age, so yeah. that's good. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. 32. I'm about to be... Oh, jeez. I <laughs> almost died. almost committed. Uh, 32 <laughs> years old. I'll be 32 this year. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Are we cool. the same age? Kind of. You kind don't tell of. you You're 21. In your I, I'm, I am celebrating my 15th anniversary of turning 21. 21. <laughs> yes. So. All right, you do the math, do the everybody. Math. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't look like it. You look like you're in your early 20s. Thank you. So I appreciate that. It's probably that, again, that bloodline that your grandma <laughs> has. You're on a good you're on a good road here. Um, okay, so we got Whitney, Salon, uh, Salon. Salon. <laughs> Celine. I mean, no offense to Solange, but you didn't say that name. <laughs> Solange. Y'all know who Solange is? Yes. It's Beyonce's sister. Yes. Um, I did say a real person, Sonata. He over here cracking up at me, y'all. <laughs> All right, so Celine Dion. Uh -huh. We got Mariah Carey, Whitney. Two more. Uh, Christina Aguilera. Wow, you like big voices. I love big voices. Yeah, yeah. I definitely love big voices. So, uh, uh, what's her name? Christina Aguilera. Yeah, I re my favorite video of her was What a Girl Wants, What a Boy Wants, uh, yeah. whatever, something like that. <laughs> yes. Um, on Disney, that's when I seen that. Shouldn't have been watching that either. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, fifth one. Oh, man. Oh, oh that's a tough one. It's always the, the last one. I'm gonna have to say Tamia. Hello. Okay. Yeah. It's, I don't hear these names when people come in here. So I, I'm not. People just have very different eclectic music tastes. Yeah. So when I, I'm like, whoa, you know, you know, some of the classic goats. Yeah. yeah. Tamia has the best mixed voice on earth. But I, I would agree. Yeah. And I, I can't. Best, that's yeah. why I said they're not living through me because I can't do nah. mix like that. But <laughs> but if I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely that. I've gained, you know, like that's when I even realized there was a mixed voice and tried mm. to, you know, mm -hmm. replicate that as well. Yeah. For for the longevity of the vocal cords, yeah, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So those are all pretty well known artists. So we're gonna try to do a poll here. Can we do a poll here? We got <laughs> Whitney Houston. <laughs> Celine Dion. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. These are these are some of the tops. Mariah Carey. Yes. How do we spell Tamia's name? T A M I A. Tamia. Mm -hmm. Or Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah, we got to put Christina in there. It's uh, the H or just Christina like. Christina with an H. With an H, with yeah, an Christina a. Aguilera. If you just need to put so, Christina AG, that works. Whitney, Mariah, uh -huh. Tamia, and Christina, right? Yep, and yep. So yep. Dion, did you? So, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, which one are you going to? Like, you got to choose one. Now, <laughs> I mine, mine would be hard. I, I, I'm, like, struggling right now in between the two. I, I'm, sh you couldn't get me to choose just one. They're, they're literally all. Yeah. That, that's, that's Be, wise. <laughs> Be wise. Be wise. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say this. I am already Xing out three, and I'm going with two. Okay. It would either have to be Celine mm -hmm. or Whitney. Oof. I, I, oh, man, I'm so indecisive, y'all. Like, I can't and you know what's, choose. Okay, and I, I got to tell you why, Jane. Okay. I got to tell you why. Yeah. There is absolute when you listen to those ladies at their prime. Yes. So let's go everybody at their prime. Yeah. Because you know now some some of them got the only one that still sounds like she's is Celine. Mm -hmm. 
mm. just flawless. Yeah. But at their prime, like when they were in their thirties and they're just cranking out like their best records. Yeah. Celine and Whitney, to me, I, well, Mariah could too, but they had something about their voices. It was just like they cut through. Yeah. You no, know, it wasn't like oh, I can sing, and they know. It was more like. They were voices that represented America in a way, mm. or represented like our like when you see them, they were they were iconic in a di on a different level, right? Like the Michael Jackson thing. Like when Celine Dion dies, I feel like a, a lot of people will feel like they felt when Whitney died, or right, it right. really just kind of like hit us hard. Absolutely. Where the other ones were incredible, and they will they have put a like when DMX dies, like that is a that hits hard. Yeah. It hits hard, but the world shut down when Whitney died, yes. or the world shut down when Michael Jackson died. Yes, Celine Dion was top uh, female like seller for years. Yeah. I think still is maybe mm -hmm. probably past Beyonce. So it's still like, I mean, iconic in a way. So I, if I'm going off of that, I'm going okay. Those are the two. Right. But then after that, it's, that's hard to choose. It's hard. It's hard. Celine was actually the first um, concert I had ever seen. Shut up. You yeah. Seen live? Yeah. I see. I saw her live when I was younger. And um, yeah, so so definitely a special place in my heart as Ooh. well. But God, I would have cried. <laughs> now her, I got her uh, Christmas record over there. Cause her Christmas record to me is the best Christmas record that has ever come out. Oh wow! In ever in history. I, I, I listen. I will beat anybody up who want to fight. Okay. <laughs> That's how much I love. Celine's <gasps> Christmas record is like, you get jazz, you get pop, you get gospel, you get classical, you get it all. She got it. She got it. Okay. Sorry, Bishop is speaking words. I know. I just, <laughs> she, she got me going down this train. Okay. <laughs> where, where we at? Are, are we finished? Not yet. Oh, we're still on yeah, the journey see, to I get there. I don't know. There. It's just hard because like, because Christina, I feel like is super underrated in terms of like when you listen to that woman sing live, it's just like... It, yeah. She's so skillful yeah. in terms of like hitting every note, but I do agree. Like in terms of like being iconic, it's got to be you know. Yeah, yeah. So, like yeah. Christina Aguilera's voice in itself was just like, whoa! This is another one of those voices that just like cuts through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you have to listen to her when she sings, right? Yeah. Um, but guy, again, like when it looks, and of course Whitney had the drug problem towards the end of her life, which caused her voice to decline. Mm -hmm. Was like you put. If, if I'm going, okay, let's, for instance, Star Spangled Banner, I always have to do this. <laughs> Who would I want to listen sing the Star Spangled Banner? Mostly all of them have sang the Star Spangled Banner, and you could look at them, and you look at the performance, you go, hmm, interesting. But there's two people who sang that, and it is just flawless, Whitney and Celine. Mm. When it's a date, I mean, I mean, Whitney literally changed how we sing the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Everybody wants to be her. Now, come on, y'all. Don't don't play me tonight. Do not play me tonight. Y'all know what it is. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Now, now, Mariah, golly, there's a video of Mariah that I saw the other day, Jane. Mm -hmm. Mariah did a run that went, it was almost a minute and a half <gasps> with no breathing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. Insane. Yeah, like yeah. that's another level. I actually know who her vocal trainer is, um, uh, Melanie Dan. She's a gospel singer up in in the Bronx. Wow. But and so she does a lot of that, like in her, you know, just long runs and high up and downs, whistle tones and yep. stuff. So that just Mariah is great too. So I'm trying to just move time as this. I want to <laughs> see. It. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, five minutes is fine. Like this is a. <laughs> We, this is a decision that should not be rushed. <laughs> yes, the poll is going up, y'all. I cannot wait to see what we choose here. Now, Jane is not going to choose one because she says she can't, so I'm not going to make her do it. Don't make me do it. But I will reveal mine unless she just feels so led to after we get to the end of this bar here. I will share <laughs> mine. Of what I chose between the top two of what I've been able to weed out here. Oh, a tie? A tie. Hello? Oh! Wow. Well, you know what? I I respect that tie. Yeah. All right, we're doing... We're doing a poll between those two, and Jane's going to sing her last song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going with Whitney. The only reason why I'm going with Whitney is because I'm thinking just on the matter of driving at, at night. 
It's like, okay, Whitney is going to give me, I got old 80 pop songs, fun songs. Yeah. I got ballads. Yep. So, like, if I want my night drive on the PCH with the sun going down, I can get all those feels. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, yes, absolutely. Celine, I feel like I got a few, like, just strong ballads that I'm like, I need to be in that space. Yep. You know? Um, but both women are iconic. I love them both. Yeah. Oh, Powerful. That was wonderful. I enjoyed that so much. <laughs> Jane, <laughs> I've drank too much wine, Jane. Oh. Um, all right, so what are you <laughs> going to sing wrong for us with last? That. Um, so, so my last song, you know, just kind of going through, again, this whole journey, I think in the end, one of the biggest things that I learned was to, was to let go. Mm. Um, I originally wrote this song for, for someone who wasn't ready to, like, be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to tell him, like, you know, like, you, you'll never know unless you try. Like, mm. we don't have control of what's going to happen, so let's just give it our best shot, you know, yeah. and move forward from the things that we were, that were holding us back, basically. Right. Yeah. And then as time moved on, I realized that this song could pertain to not just, like, another person, but to, to yourself, too. Like, I realized mm. it was, like, a letter to myself, mm. where it's just, like, you need to learn to let go, you know, like, mm. and... And just um, go for things that you've never gone for mm. so that you could be somewhere new. And so this song is called 100 Miles Per Hour. And Why you be preaching? <laughs> well, and, you know. And snatching lives. I mean, snatching everybody's edges tonight. Hey. You learn how to let go. Yes. Well, as we're learning how to let go, welcome to Mogul House Live. I'm your host. My name is Bishop. And right now I have Jane here with me. And she's about to sing another original song. I'm excited to hear this. Check this out. Good night, Kuya. Up until now, you played it safe, ending in the same place. Mm, wouldn't take a was worth it so nothing ever changed but you gotta stop holding on holding on so you can start moving on moving on oh you gotta stop holding on holding on doesn't matter if it's right or wrong i'm letting go Control. I would never know what I could do Going hundred miles an hour Setting myself free And trust in me I would never know where I could be Going hundred miles an hour Going hundred miles an hour Going hundred miles an hour Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, I'm letting go. I'm losing control. I would never know what I could do going 100 miles an hour. Set myself free and trust in me. I would never know where I could be going 100 miles an hour. Going 100 miles an hour. Hurt along the way, it's okay Cause 
moving on, just let it go. Lost control. We would never know what we could do. Going hundred miles an hour, set ourselves free. Just let it be. We would never know what we could be. Going hundred miles an hour. Going hundred miles. Breaking here. Oh, it was great. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, we never know where we could go going 100 miles an hour. That's actually, that's a powerful, that's powerful. I love that chorus. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank Jane, you. Wow, you have very great <laughs> lyrics. Very great lyrics. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that because I never saw myself as a writer. Really? Yeah, ne never. Wow. And I, I always felt like, oh, you know, like you guys can just write it. And mm. <laughs> it wasn't until, again, like I started writing about my own life that, you know, th this, I guess, came to fruition. And it's just crazy that as time progresses, the meaning even changes. Yeah. As life changes. That's true. Yeah. 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 yeah that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what it did mean at, at one point doesn't mean that it, it's not true. Right. But you evolve over time. Right. So how you engage with the song yes. changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... I, you've been preaching on... <laughs> listen, uh, Ninja Roy, I know, right? Singing. Uh, <laughs> Mel, thank you for the gifted subs. You are thank awesome. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're sitting here with Jane Rio. She just got, us, uh, got done singing a song called 100 Miles Per Hour, um, a song about letting go, letting yes. go. Um, and you never know what could happen if you... Don't let, let go, go and move on. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let go and move on. Yes. I mean, just dropping the nuggets, okay? <laughs> dropping the nuggets. I've enjoyed my time here sitting Me with too. my friend Jane Rio. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight, chat? Thank you all so much for being here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was so Thank good. Thank you, Modest Goddess. Yes, yes, yes. I love these badges by these names. I love seeing a mogul badge by your by your names. Thank you all for subscribing or the follows, love everything. You guys. Kuya, much love, man. Bye, Kuya. Thank you, Mikey. Thank Aww, you for being Kuya. here. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, thank you for staying. Thank you for staying. Off Cadence, much love to you as well. Oh, Mel. Aww. Mel, thank you. Thank you for gifting the sub to Kuya. Thank Kuya. Yes, yes. Wow, Mama Guate, thank you for subscribing again today. Much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for always letting your son be here with us. We love yeah. him dearly. Yes, much love. Yes, Kingdom, thank you for being here as well. You've been watching the Mogul House Live. My name is Bishop, and we've been sitting here with Jane. Jane, before we go, yes. um, how do we find you? Like, where, where are you at? I know we kind of talked about you on Twitch and yeah. Instagram, but uh, where do we find you at? Yeah, so you can find me on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursdays from 6 to 9 p.m. PST. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok, even though I haven't posted a TikTok in a while, but I'm on there. Uh, but yes, it's it's all in my. I, I saw that you guys have a beacons thing for me, yeah. Um, and and that's where you can you can find all of my, all of my latest updates. There you go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The uh, links are in the chat. So uh, thank you for putting those in there, Sonata G Major. Yes, thank yes. you. Um, okay, and I got to tell them this before we leave as well because. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we were all, the Mogul House team was all in Austin, Texas. Yes. Our boy, Closure. Yes. Uh, peace to many of you. And uh, as Jane said, the man with many names. <laughs> <laughs> but he killed it at South by Southwest. Killed it. was a it. collaboration uh, effort with Rolling Stone and Twitch and live streamed. And I was, while I was sitting by the bar, the whole team was, and this beautiful girl with this hat on, walks up, and she goes, Bishop! <laughs> and just hugs me, and I go, who the hell? Because it was so dark in there, too. So I'm like, okay, sure. But you know, today, you can't just be hugging people because you don't know what's yep. going to happen. So I was like, Lord, I'm <laughs> hugging this girl. I pray everything's good. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I no, forgot COVID. No, no, oh. no, no. But it was Jane. It was Jane. <laughs> so we got to meet each other in person, and that same thing took place for Closure and Sonata as well. Just yes. meeting her in person, and it was so cool. And we also got the chance to meet Op Cadence in person as well that night. But I love this community. I love how um, even though we see each other through screens most of the time, yes. when you come together, it's like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, because we've been talking so much yes. through this here. Uh, but thank you for coming to the show tonight, Jane. Uh, it's, thanks for having me. This yeah. was super fun. Yes, definitely. So we got to have you back. Yes, and you got to perform uh, your songs again, especially when so I think which was the one that's not out yet. The second one you sang tonight. Oh, type of love. Type of love. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So you got to come sing that when it comes out, and we got to do a thing, you know. About yeah. to get people excited and yes, go, yeah, yeah, absolutely, excellent, yeah. Well, Let's again, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, thank you for <laughs> participating <laughs> in the poll. I saw all you Whitney Houston people who did the final one. Um, your ears are blessed, amen. <laughs> thank you guys for being here again. My name is Bishop, we got Jane Rio, much love. And next week, we'll see you right here at Mogul House Live, uh, where we'll have Mr. Tudor here with us next hey. week. You guys are in for a treat. Also, mark your calendars July the 8th. We have Untapped happening. Yes, you heard what? Me. Wait, when Unt Untapped is July the 8th, oh, and it's going to be cool. it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a summer show. And it's going to be all the way live. So be Lit. looking out for more information for Untap as well. Much love, y'all. Peace out. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. I see you, referees. Thank you for the support. She may be yours, but you don't own her She may be yours, but you put you first I know your kind, know your style Cause I've been there twice before You did your time, did the work Now you think a trophy's yours You let her down Turn a notice, notice Work the inside out Hold that feeling from her chest Might seem good right now but it's honest, honest, what you give comes round But that should be common sense Why do we have to be so damn childish? Why do we have to be, let me slow, let me slow, slow down Why do we have to be so damn childish? Why do we have to be, let me slow, let me slow, slow down Let me slow, let me slow, slow down, hey. Let me slow, let me slow, slow down Don't stick about it for a playground Sliding down a curve Just to go You got what you came here for You were feeling proud But the marks it hasn't made Might seem good right now But it's honest, honest What you give comes round But that should be common sense Why do we have to be so damn childish Why do we